Hey, it's Adrian. Wanted to make a quick video for you about my experience of intermittent fasting over the last five weeks. So I started fasting just before I made the video on intermittent fasting. If you haven't seen that video and you're interested in it, it'll be in the description below uh, and also on the card above here. The reason I got into it, I wanted to explore the health benefits that I'd read about as I was doing the research for the intermittent fasting. And I thought, well, if I'm gonna to talk to people about this, I should really have a crack at this myself and, and see how I get on. Now, I've noticed some interesting things. I started out doing 16 hours of fasting and then the eight hour window when I could eat, and then moved that to 18 to six, so it was 18 hours of fasting. And I found actually I could stretch that a little bit further without too much trouble. And I now fast most days somewhere between 18 and a half and 20 hours, sometimes a little bit longer. It just depends on how the day unfolds and I don't wanna to be too strict with that. I have noticed I get hungry during that time, um, but uh, a drink of some mint tea or a glass of water with some lemon in it or even a teaspoon of coconut oil seems to take care of that straight away. Now, as far as what's happened to me, it's been really interesting. I knew I'd lose some weight because I simply was eating one meal less, although I now eat more on the other two meals to counteract that a little bit. Uh, and I've actually lost between nine and 11 pounds in five weeks, which wasn't my intention, but obviously it's really good news and I'm really pleased with that. What's interesting is I'm about the same weight I was when I went vegan, which was probably what, 26 years back? Uh, so that's been interesting. I've noticed that my energy levels have come up somewhat and also my energy is much more consistent during the course of the day. I don't get the kind of little ups and downs of tired and all the rest of it. Um, and that's probably also because I'm more focused on a ketogenic diet. And speaking of diet, I have noticed that eating this way, I don't really snack anymore. Um, I used to love going out and maybe getting a, a bowl or a plate full of chips, um, maybe once a week, once every couple of weeks. I don't really do that anymore. Uh, I used to love grabbing, uh, grab a pizza for dinner and make that. I've, I've not really done that anymore. Uh, we've stopped having takeaways. Uh, and actually at the same time, I decided I wanted to cook more. So we've actually upped our game, if you will, in terms of the quality of food we have. So that's worked out really, really well. I've noticed that I need less sleep. I'm waking up between an hour and an hour and a half earlier in the morning than I used to wake up. And that wasn't a conscious decision. I just woke up and I feel refreshed. So I've got extra time during the day to get things done. And I've also picked up time during the day because I'm not having breakfast. So there's no prep time. There's no clearing up time. And I'm not really getting lunch, my first meal, if you will, not more breaking my fast. So my breakfast happens somewhere between sort of three and four o'clock in the afternoon. So I've picked up time there as well. So there's been uh, picking up time, there's been increase in the energy levels, which have been great. Um, I've noticed as well several things to do with my senses. My eyesight's a little sharper and those little floaters I used to get, they've really kind of declined. And I suspect over time, if they carry on at this rate, they'll disappear. My hearing's sharper, uh, my sense of taste and particularly my sense of smell has picked up, which has been really interesting. Uh, and, and I just, I noticed more subtleties and, and it's not maybe the range hasn't increased, but the, the, the amount of variation I can detect, although actually thinking about it, probably the range has increased too. And interestingly, my sense of touch. Now I'd read about that in people who'd done very long-term fasts, but I've noticed now that my sense of touch, my awareness of texture, particularly under my fingertips, has increased. Now, I'm not sure really what the cause of that is, but again, that's been really interesting. And I really started to notice it, uh, funnily enough, when I was driving the other day and I became much more aware of the, the texture of the steering wheel and the gear lever. Uh, and then during the course of the, the subsequent days to that, I became much more aware of things. Um, so really that's been about it as to what I've experienced so far. I will say that I'm gonna stick with this that this is the way now I would like to continue eating into the future. It really suits me. I'm enjoying the increased energy. Um, the weight loss has been great and all the other things have been fabulous too. So in the comments below, do let me know how you get on or how you've got on with intermittent fasting. I'd love to hear from you anyway. If you like the video, please give it the thumbs up. And if you're interested in this kind of stuff and you haven't already subscribed, do click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so YouTube can keep you notified when we release new content. And as always, it's been really, really nice talking to you. I always enjoy these discussions. I am so looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, see ya. Thank you.